Yo, what up, guys? It's Tidy here with a sharp Noob to Pro update on day 187. We skipped up on one update yesterday because nothing really happened on the account. The main thing happening on Racial Legends right now is the preparation that everybody seems to be doing towards this Python fusion that is coming up in maybe four four days. Yes, I think so. So on the 12th of January. So that's the fusion prep that everybody seems to be doing from saving all your shards to you know doing campaign farming because of the champion training going on right now but you're just taking all your champions to 30 40 20 you're not actually leveling the, leveling them or past any level except maybe the 20 ones to three star and then push them up to 30. that's what the noob to pro has been up to if you head over to our champions index right there we've been taking 20 champions to 30. if i sort that by uh, i can't sort it here but anyways that's the champions all these 20 champions i farm them up to 30 and um, up to 20 and then push them up to three star and then of course when they are three star I'll push them up to 30. you can scroll up here you can see some champions needed for a fusion i've also started prepping my fusion champions yes which fusion am i talking about the old school fusion we have right here for razen which requires us to pick up all these rare champions will finally be able to gather all the champions required to fuse razen so this fusion this um, Python fusion, Razen will be summoned because he's one of the um, pieces we need to make our unkillable teams ready to go with Skull Crusher and everybody right there. So Razen comes with three things we need for that team and he will be fused during the fusion. I don't care whether a champion chase aligns with it or not, we will find a way to fuse Razen first before we even look at these champions we have from our fragments summons. So I'm looking forward to getting him ready and ready to go. Hopefully they make champion chase worthy for us to pull Razen during this fusion. I also have Drexter holding on right there because we're still struggling with HP Bond. In some content like this um, Doom Tower Spider, Nether Spider that requires you to... Is it the sp Nether Spider? The Frost... The one that, that brings Freeze. It's not That's not a spider, right? <laughs> that requires you to bring put HP burn on him before you kill him. We are lucky enough to do it with Amiga. I don't know if we can do it at higher levels though. Before I recorded this fusion, I was able to head over to the Doom Tower and kill the boss on this level of this... Is it level 90? Yes, that's this nether spider. The other one is the first spider, I think. <laughs> we are able to kill this spider by using the same method we use in our spider 20, in normal dungeon spider. By nooking down... You see, I brought in three four nukas three nukas actually kill rear guard and this other ronda just to make sure that once the spider links are out there we can nuke them and kill them because that's the easiest way to get killed when you hit the spider link and they don't die they add more poison to you so i brought in champions that i made sure that when they take a turn they will be able to take down the spider with their aoe hits not their single target hits so once the spider links are down we can then begin to heal begin to revive begin to cleanse i brought in this uh, scatix is beginning to be useful in our teams as one of our first um cleanse champions that we had and he can use this key right here to remove all debuffs and that's one important piece you need to survive this um, spider by cleansing all those big poisons he places on you and that's why we're able to kill him because we hold that cleanse until he spawns his spiderlings again then we cleanse everything and begin to do it these two champions have um um life still abita even died before the run went ever anywhere i think uh, what's her name rector drive would have been a better healer right here than abita but i wanted more speed that's why i used these other champions anyways that's how i was able to beat nether spider we'll see how far we can go still a long way to go though still a long way to go hopefully we don't run into this champion into this um frost spider again because it will be a little bit more difficult maybe a 20 or 30 minutes run if we come come around again to this um frost spider this um doom tower rotation is full of spiders <laughs> and even if frost spider is at the top of the ladder that's what is called frost spider right there for clan boss nothing else is happening we are looking forward to getting good drops in the clan boss i'm talking about um at least one more secret shard from nightmare that's what we're hoping will happen before the fusion comes around so we can have at least two secret shards you know ready to go so let's see this is probably gonna give us some i even appreciate ancient shard at this point from at least brutal so 
that's what we are expecting to see from brutal at least yes so because even the ancient shard will help us if we are going to be going for a summon rush or something it will help us a lot so i'll keep this one it has crit rate and attack five percent in good one to hold on to all right what else are we looking at 200 and 2700 and um, gems is it's enough gems to complete any fusion because this one doesn't require us to farm you know the potion keeps so these gems will only be spent on events and tournaments that are coming up speaking of events and tournaments there is none going on right now that required me to you know farm them and even the spider event that was going on right now or tournament that was going on right now it didn't the, the rewards were not enticing enough for me to use my um see my energy to farm it so i'm totally ignoring the spider tournament or i it's i ignored it because it's already ending champion training will we be going for it no now i did say i'm taking champions to 20 to 30 to 40 but guess what i'm not taking two star to six i'm not taking a three star to 12 just because of champion training no i'm not doing that before i feed them i'm just going to be feeding in two star at level one three star at level one just because i'm still trying to get them to four star you know get them to 40 before the fusion launches i have a bunch of 40s 30s 20s ready to go that's what i'm going to be doing i'm not doing it because of champion training although the champion training does have some rewards on my main account if i have the resources what rewards am I talking about? That's just an epic book. On my main account, I've even been ignoring this. Maybe if I'm that, you know, forced about getting that ancient shard, you might be get, getting this ancient shard without actually feeding um, champions to 6 star or doing 3 stars champions to, to 12 or 10. You will still get, be able to get that ancient shard by just doing normal campaign, I think so. Because 2 days, I don't know if that's enough time, but i'm not going to be pushing hard for this one remember we're only using free to play energy and speaking about free to play energy you might notice that i'm sitting on 640 energy right there which is not ideal to sit on this amount of energy why do i do i have this amount right now is because some um, energy was about to expire in the portal some had a few 16 hours or to go or something so i just claimed them and of course the ones i claim right now for advanced quest and from my daily quest and from um where else again did i claim energy from i think one energy also dropped from the push i made in the um what do you call this place again doom tower i also picked up some energy right there and that's why right now i have 640 so i'm not going to be saving this all the way to the fusion now i'll take this head over into the campaign as usual and use them out there so speaking of the campaign if i scroll yes in the day before yesterday's video i did mention that we are going to be picking up this um secret shard that has been hiding here that i've been ignoring because it seems like it was a little bit difficult to beat one particular stage which was this vladimir strat so i took time to beat it yesterday but it was a 26 minutes run <laughs> with this two-man team but it seems like i did not have enough damage to take them down the um badel kazar kept healing and healing and healing i just didn't have enough i put block um buff debuff on him he just cleanses it i could stop the provoke from the side arts but i couldn't stop his cleanse so I'm gonna be running it. Maybe I'll take out this healer reviver and replace it with. See, the Drake might have made this one a little bit easier, but she's not ready. She's not built. She's not 60 and all that. So I might replace this champion with who else do you think can do it? UDK? UDK does have some damage a little bit more than. And can UDK keep Rector Drat alive and keep himself alive? That's the question. Rector Drat, I mean, um, Deliana. Deliana might be able to heal him a little bit. And all that so i'll try it again it just i stopped because it requires so much energy 16 energy is a lot <laughs> to waste right now well or to attempt without being sure that the run will be successful it's, i wouldn't call it a waste so i was able to beat this stage which can allow me now push on to the other deadlands which is gonna be a um, walk in the park this is gonna be easy easy pickings and i can two man it easy so let me know which other two man teams do you think can beat this um, particular um stage vladimir strat where um this uh, what's his name he's just been a annoying champion right there okay let me head over back to i saw a reward that i needed to pick up 
that's how many 175 gems right there damn the amount of energy you get from this um nightmare is so awesome it's just a lot and i have one um, legendary skill tome not just one three legendary skill tome waiting for me to pick up right there damn 640 energy is get, is gonna go into this instantly even if i have to ignore this vladimir strat for now i'll be able to push towards the deadlands and see how far we can go until we head back in, into vladimir strat basically i'm waiting for artifact enhancement to do if i can see, do some gear changes to some of these champions that can make them maybe easier to crush this ultra nightmare team we are doing doom tower normal we are doing beating a lot of content at 20 even 25 dragon and it seems like nightmare is still being a nightmare to us that's why we always tell newer players who are coming into Ray shadow legends nightmare is not a beginner content you see how long i've been playing before i'm even attempting it because the shots the rewards are going nowhere it's all waiting for you there when you need it and you can see right now at a critical time when i need secret shard that's when it can come in handy and then i can maybe have it two of them or three of them before this um, Python fusion comes around. So don't be forced about your nightmare not even able to beat it down. If you have Paragon, maybe Paragon can help me cheese it. But the problem with those boss stages is like you have to finish it in 10 minutes or less. If it goes above 10 minutes, it becomes a two star and not a three star to complete. That's one thing that most people don't know about those boss stages. They keep wondering, why do, do I get a two star from a boss stage? Now you know why. All right, this, do I have any other update to share with the new to pro? I've talked about Dragstar's rares that we are picking up. The 10x event, the portal is showing um, yellow right now or gold, but it's for all the wrong reasons. It's showing you because there's a 10x for Nukas. Awesome champions, awesome Nukas in Racial Legends that hit extremely hard, especially the legendary champions and even the epic champion right there. But this is not the time to pull your shards except you're this close to pity you're just one shot away from mercy then you can maybe go ahead or you're right on that mercy you can go ahead and see if you can pick up any of them but i'll tell you right now if you're a low spender or free to play in racial legends don't be fooled by this um, portal showing colorful save all your shards for a fusion that is coming up which is python on the 12th of january it might start with a summon rush it might not we'll wait to see when that happens we are waiting for the fusion calendar one that launches i'm also going to be breaking it down to find out if we can skip out on any of the summer rush or champion chase events i'm really, really waiting for that and it's going to be dropping on the 12th it's not a day or two before unfortunately all right i did get some video requests in the comments from other videos i'm i didn't forget about your video request whether you're talking about me doing a video about the fire knight or about a particular champion it's just the, the main account is not in the, at the place right now to push out those videos for you because um i've not been at the office basically so i'm currently at 10 million or 5 million siva on that account that's not enough to build a team or do, do a champion showcase of one of the requested ones but i have all those champions built booked i'm currently doing um what do you call it now minotaur grind getting masteries on a lot of champions because that's all i'm spending my my energy on on the main account so i can get all those champions when i do the champion guide i can have them with masteries shown for you my duchess is ready on that account remember we pulled the duchess on my main account and she's ready built and ready to go and i've been enjoying her a little bit in pv and 3v3 content right now and she also helped me in some doom tower content also doom tower hard where i'm currently trying to beat those stages where those people could do in block revive and all that stuff anyways that's the short note to pro update i have for you guys about what's happening on the account and what we are preparing for the fusion if you're not going for the fusion you can go for this event and tournament and pick up this awesome rewards we're not even going to pay attention or talk about this one at all because it's still an insult and a a teaser for you to have something in three years or more depending on how much these events are dropping so little one two three of the playroom points it's just crazy it's just too too low anyways that's all i have for you guys hit that like button for me in this noob to pro update and i'll see you guys hopefully i feel better tomorrow to come to the office and record something awesome for you guys good night guys